watch this before the narcissist robs you. The narcissist will take property from you by force or intimidation. They will steal from you. They will take money or property illegally from you, your place or organization. Narcissists are very insecure. They may act arrogant and boastful, but deep down they feel like they're not enough. They feel like they don't have enough. They have a void inside of them which they are constantly trying to fill. But they're never satisfied, so they always want more. They have these insatiable desires which they are trying to fulfill, but they don't go about it the right way. They don't behave in an orderly manner. A lot of the things they do are reckless and impulsive. Where they are heedless of danger and the consequences of their actions, because they're acting without consideration of the results. You may wonder why they didn't just ask you instead. But narcissists are full of pride and arrogance. They have a high opinion of themselves. So they're too embarrassed and ashamed to ask you for something. Instead, they would rather just steal it and hope that you didn't notice. And they also feel entitled to it. They believe that you owe them something. They believe that you should give them whatever they want. Because in their minds they are special and important. They are the best thing since sliced bread. So they believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment because they expect you to see it as a privilege just to be around them. In their minds, time is money and if they've given you their time, they expect compensation in return. Narcissists are delusional. They have no basis in reality. They trick their minds into believing that stealing is okay. They trick themselves into believing that they have a right to the object that they desire. Because in their minds, they need it more than you do. So it's theirs. And if you have much more than they do, they will assume that you are too stupid to notice or that you wouldn't even care. Some narcissists will steal from you just for the excitement because it gives them a thrill. Stealing is a form of supply for the narcissist. It makes them feel powerful and in control. It makes them feel like they are better than you because it compensates for their insecurities and deficiencies. They steal because they're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They care more about themselves than they do for other people. They want the money more than they fear the consequences of stealing. And they feel entitled to it. They feel that you don't deserve what you have because they think you can replace what they steal from you. In their minds, it is unfair and therefore stealing is justified. But they wouldn't think that way if the shoe was on the other foot. If someone decided to steal from them, they wouldn't accept it and they would probably look down on that type of person because deep down they know that stealing is not okay regardless of your situation or circumstances. That doesn't make it right. 
People can justify it however they choose to in their minds, but they won't get society to justify their selfish behaviour. Which is why we have laws to protect ourselves from these types of people, because without guidelines and enforcement, there would be chaos on riots. Narcissists want to have their cake and eat it too. They want the comfort and protection of our society, but they don't want to follow our rules. And it affects society as a whole. It affects us on many social and economic levels. It causes businesses to raise their prices and increase security. It causes our taxes to increase and it creates a greater duty and responsibility on police and courts. When people steal, people become distrustful, fearful and isolated. And in the end it also affects the perpetrator of the crime, because if they're caught they could be punished by being imprisoned for a long time. In some Arab countries they may even cut off their hand. Because it's a serious crime, people don't like those who steal. And when the narcissist steals from you, they don't feel good about themselves afterwards, even if they didn't get caught. Because deep down they know that what they did was wrong. Stealing like any other action that is harmful to another person always comes back to one thing low self-esteem they do it because they lack confidence in who they are and what they can do they have an overall poor sense of self-value they have a poor opinion of themselves If they didn't, then they wouldn't steal. They wouldn't abuse you. They wouldn't do anything that might negatively affect you. But I guess this is their karma. It's the law of cause and effect. Every single action in the universe produces a reaction no matter what. And when they steal, it comes back to get them. It lowers their self-esteem even more. They become even more unhappy and dissatisfied with their lives. And they sink deeper and deeper into the pit of their own misery. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.